I'm going to teach you all about calf slicers, knee compressions, leg wins, as well as leg scissors and knee scissors if you understand how, the main, how to do it the main ways. I'll give you live examples, all kinds of different ways of me hitting and training. And then stay tuned because at the end, I'll show you how to go kick catches into them as well as the arm bar counter to the calf slicer. Hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe you got a lasso or a cross wrist. In MMA, I could be grounding and pounding them, making them think about up here. And then I quickly just transfer back, grab those toes, and now look, I'm falling back, but I'm falling back with my weight on him, my ribs on him. That's very important, okay? To fall here, double up, double up on the top of the toes, keep this elbow tight so I don't get counter arm bird, and here. Okay, now I can leg press over a thousand pounds. And so that should be able to submit him very nicely. And I can pull his toes to the bottom a little bit more. Okay, but I'm keeping weight on him. That's very important. Also keeping this elbow, the one that's close to him, that arm tight, is important so I don't get countered arm bar. But if I keep weight on him, it's not gonna be a problem. If I fell off, come back up. I'm up here, maybe on a lasso, a seatbelt, I'm on a cross wrist, I'm trying to a spiral rod, hammer lock, and break them down, do different stuff. I can then shoulder roll to this attack instead. I can come here, shoulder roll, bam. This time I decided to grab one and one for more control so I can keep rolling out. I'm pushing, leg pressing here, and I'm pulling on the toes here, and there's that. So I can keep this here. If I let go of this, I can quickly, bam, quickly kill this in a real fight. Keep this tight, this elbow tight, and extend. Yes, he might be able to roll backwards, and then he's on top of my half guard. So you do want to be aware of that. Sometimes I feel like if you just kill the guy fast though, he's not really going to have time to roll out. So something like this, or even rear naked all the way in here. Uh, above and beyond that, if he starts to like roll out, like that's what you see, Russell me that way. Oh, okay, you want to go with that, and then I just hammer lock. Okay, so again, anytime you're in the banana split position, maybe then I go, I transfer, I transfer it to you, can keep my lock down tight. Behind the head. Rock him. Get behind his head. Bam. 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 And that is the death of Steve. So, so so now guys, I'm gonna get you into all the live examples. Here you see me rolling. Um I hope it, this edits well. It's my first time attempting this. This is basically the main way here, going for the back a little high, and from my single leg ride, wrestling into the catch. Real catch wrestling into the catch. Catch jitsu style. There's the main way you see it often. Now, here's a little crazy scramble in Japan. And what you're going to see me is from crab or double grapevine guard. Oh, hey, what's that? From the crab, double grapevine? I'm just going to go for it. I tap this kind of young boy fighter out there with that. Again, in Japan, over here at Grabaka, the previous one was at Hearts. Here, I'm going to go with a kind of lockdown on the far leg to the samurai roll into the truck calf slicer position. So here, in a second, you'll see me going for the samurai roll, which can get you to the back. It could get you to the truck um, twister as well, wrestler's guillotine. Here, it's getting me to the calf slicer, a battle of dueling calf slicers, knee compressions there. And uh, I win that battle by going to the top of the toes for the most leverage. Here doing some Sambo in Japan. See me doing a little bit of my crazy Kung Fu Chi Sao Aki grappling that I'm getting known for. Doing a little bit of a half Kodagashi because it would really be illegal in Sambo. But I figured I would have gotten away with that. Going him out. Then uh, old Ken Shamrock, Lion's Den style, going in a monkey mount, purposely putting myself back in a quarter grab, three quarter mount, spin around knee bar, he's already triangle to defend, that's what gets you into a leg scissors, or knee scissors if you want to call it that, to not confuse it with other types of leg scissors, but really, it's a, it's a leg scissors, uh, and so is this, which would be similar to what is an arm scissors back in old catch wrestling. And uh, now coming up here, somewhere in the underground uh, caves of the Middle East, I got, I think, a reverse lockdown here in a back ride. And uh, there's some foot hanging out. I'm going to grab those toes. And uh, really, that was a kind of weird way of getting a calf slicer. 
here I'm kind of going for the back but you know I'm low I'm not going to get there so here's kind of the more the traditional way basically like a, a single leg ride going into it he's defending well should have cross faced him some more there going back on the leg nope oh, got grabbed the other leg so that means I'm going to go into a truck or a crotch ripper type position and well hey toes are hanging out grab those suckers and there you go catch laser from the truck position and uh, here from standing on a single leg, kind of go for a Kani Basami, end up crazy going backwards. Uh, end up, oh boy, hey, knee bar not quite there because my back's isolated on the ground. So now I'm going to sit up Charles Oliveira style. And uh, just like Charles Oliveira got the first one in the UFC. Actually, I came close to it a week before, right at Christmas time, rolling with Gokor. Close in that the initial setup. And then he realized what I was doing. And Gokor spun around with an, uh, an elbow hit me and <laughs> slid my nose over the other side of my face for break number eight or nine in my life. And I put it back for the second time pretty well. So there's crazy ways of getting the calf slicer, guys. I hope you liked it. And, and now bonuses and the ca catch footage. Stay tuned. People are used to getting it. It's so common that they go to punch you right away. Boom, I lean back and I give him this knee. It doesn't have to even be that hard, but it's nasty. As he punches, I lean back, I give him this knee. Then I can enter in with on bump, knee, elbow. Okay, we were on style. Now that would be a 12 6 elbow in MMA, but you like to have fun and do real mixed martial arts sometimes. I mean, maybe it was 1FC. I, I think it's allowed, I'm not sure. Um, but the 12 6 elbow, it'd be okay. Here, here. Now from there, I can biomechanically hit his knee and rotate him. Now from there, I do what I want. I just dumped him if it was a Muay Thai fight. He has to spend energy to get up. Now I could try and snap the knee a little bit with a fast heel hook, even though he's not real isolated. I can then step over to a hold here, okay? Insert the leg, the shin behind the knee. And now I can just lean forward and it puts a lot of pressure on the knee with the shin. As well as if I got the foot here, it's gonna lock him even faster. If it slips off on the side, that's fine, because I like to go camel clutch style, make him tap out from that. If there was a street, I could grab his hair and bang his face into the mat. This is also a very good control position. Uh, you see this leg lock in like a lot and other systems. It's a good leg control position to hold someone in, because it doesn't take energy to just hold someone there for police to come and whatnot for the street. But, so now, this side. Here. Now, if I wanted, I could come in, whatever. I could just go to this. I could go for a knee first, I could go for this, I could roll him and sit at the same time, I could insert here. Now, I kind of lost this leg, actually, that's okay. Um, now I might decide to come up, because I could heel hook him here, but he might also roll, because I lost this leg, Hey, that happened. So now I might decide to insert and go to the move I showed you earlier. Now I'm here in total control. I also got the foot, good by my hip bone. Okay, so it's a knee compression lock uh, or calf slice or whatever, but really if my shin is behind his knee, and I'm also doing this to him. So I can take his toes, put him up his butt. And anytime time I feel this guy's weight going way back there, and I feel, oh, he's grabbing my toes. Well, that's what he's going for. So reach, spin, grab, boom, chop down. I could go on his head here possibly, okay? Or just chop down here and also chop his leg here so it hurts the knee a little bit, but it's an armor. Okay, but see this position here is, is very uncomfortable for his leg. One more time. As he goes, I go. Okay, so there's your common armbar to the cast slice and decompression. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and I'll catch you on the flip side.